Look, now it's full. It started down here, now look at all that foam. I'm gonna share five methods to help you upgrade your coffee game. There's nothing worse than having a bitter cup of coffee. There's a secret ingredient you can add to your coffee to get it to taste better every time. All you need is table salt. It only takes a little bit, only about an eighth teaspoon added to your grounds. It doesn't matter how you make it, pour over, French press, or in a coffee machine, it'll taste way better every time. If you make French press or pour over, it also helps to make sure your water's not too hot. Adding salt when brewing cheaper coffee is great because it'll make it taste more premium. This works also if you're out at a restaurant or a diner and your coffee's a little bitter, just reach for the table salt and just give it a little sprinkle, that's all you need. Hot, 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 hot. Hands down, the best way to drink coffee has gotta be cold brew, but it doesn't have to be difficult to make. Here's how to make cold brew in a blender. There's so many methods and devices you can use to make cold brew, but all you need is beans and a blender. I like to use a one to four ratio. It makes a stronger cold brew concentrate. The blender is gonna do all the work, like grind the beans. All you're looking for is a coarse grind. Let's measure out our water, add it to those grounds, and that's it. And maybe a little mix. Let this sit 12 to 18 hours. Just that easy. Now just strain out your cold brew. You don't need anything fancy, just a blender to make cold brew. Sometimes you make too much coffee or have some cold brew left over. Don't throw that away. You can do something really cool with it. I'm gonna show you how you can turn this into this. You can use any kind of mold, and I like to start with a creamer first. Just fill that up just a little bit at the top of the pop. Use your favorite creamer or flavor. And that's it, that's step one. This just goes right into the freezer. Shouldn't take too long to freeze that first layer. Then just fill the rest up with iced coffee or cold brew. Add in your sticks and get these right back into the freezer. Now these look about right. Just make sure you leave them long enough to get solid. Popsicle, so good. Coffee, vanilla. This is like iced coffee on the next level. And bonus tip, make some coffee ice cubes so they won't water down your coffee. Stays cold and won't dilute the flavor. And it's great for dunking in your pop Yeah, it's the best day ever. If you're making coffee at home, you don't need any expensive equipment to froth your own milk. Here's how to use these to froth milk at home. If you're using a French press, you wanna warm your milk first, either in the microwave or on the stove. Then you wanna only fill your French press up about a third of the way full. Next is the fun part. Just plunge your French press up and down at the top of the milk. Woo, it's almost to the top. Look, now it's full. It started down here, now look at all that foam. Now I can charge $8 for this cup of coffee. Just need to work on my latte art. Mason jars also work for frothing milk. Fill that just a little less than halfway. Put that lid on and shake it up. After you shake it up, take that lid off and let's warm it up in the microwave. Should only take about 30 seconds. Keep an eye on it so it doesn't explode. But look at all that fluffy, warm foam. And for an added flavor boost, you can use vanilla or other extracts or spices like cinnamon. Freshly brewed coffee is best enjoyed warm, but how do you get it to stay warm? Here are some techniques you can use to keep your coffee nice and hot. Traditional coffee makers with that hot plate can actually burn your coffee over time and make it taste awful, so keep your coffee warm in a thermos. Pour over and French press can cool off really quickly, so keep it nice and hot in a vacuum insulated thermos. Before you even pour your coffee to keep it extra hot, warm your mug first just with some hot water. That warm mug will retain heat a little bit better and not cool off your hot coffee. Now, will it burn my tongue? Perfect temperature, perfect. 
Thanks for watching Problem Solve. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other videos like these two right here.